Good morning, kids. Hi, it's me, Miss Katie. I miss you and I love you so much and I can't wait to see you. Hopefully you're doing house church with some other families, but if you're not and if you're with your family, then that's awesome too because God is always with us. God is with us wherever. We can learn about him wherever and that's amazing. Okay, kiddos. So we started learning a new Bible verse, Jeremiah 29, 11, last week. So we're going to add a little bit more to it this week. So can you repeat after me? Jeremiah 29, 11. Good. Okay. For I know the plans I have for you. Go ahead and repeat that. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. And then it goes on to say plans to give you hope and a future. So the, what we're going to focus on today is for I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Do you know what it means to prosper? It means to be successful, to, to be blessed. And God wants us to be successful. So when we honor him and follow him, his plans for us are that we would succeed. Isn't that awesome? All right. So think about this. Have you ever been listened to really well? Has anybody ever changed their mind from something that they were going to do because you suggested something different? Didn't that make you feel special? Didn't that make you feel honored? Well, that is just a sliver of how God cares for us. He listens to us and he cares about our prayers and what we ask of him. Prayer is absolutely one of the most important parts of our relationship with God because it connects us with God. We can pray anytime, anywhere, about anything. Isn't that cool? It's awesome. So what is prayer? You might be asking, what is prayer even? I don't even know. Prayer is just talking to God. We can praise him. He wants us to confess the bad things that we've done because we've all done bad things and there's always something to confess. But honoring him and telling him how great he is, he loves to hear that. And also, he wants us to ask from, for him, ask for things from him, because he's the giver of everything good, and he wants us to ask for him, ask for things, and rely on him. And then also, he just wants us to sit and be with him, just like a great friend. So we can just sit and be with him as he is our friend and our God and our creator. What an amazing God we serve. Okay, so here's our story. So listen up. As Jesus taught his followers about God, he shared with them the amazing truth that God is a loving father who wants to bless his children. And we are his children. Jesus told them that their heavenly father wants to know them and have a relationship with them. Jesus explained to them that this special relationship is based on and kept healthy through, you thought it, prayer. Jesus told his followers that when they pray, they should do it for God and not to be seen by anybody else. Prayer is not a way to show off or make others think we're spiritual or super great. Jesus explained that prayer is a conversation with God and that we should do it someplace in privacy where it's just us and God so that we can pay attention and not get distracted. That's a big reason why we are sometimes told to fold our hands and close our eyes when we pray so that we're not distracted. Jesus said that using prayer as a way to get attention from others rather than to build a relationship with God was something that the Pharisees did. You remember the Pharisees? Well, they were the guys that were like all about the law and they didn't care as much about their relationship with God. So we don't want to follow them, right? It didn't mean much because it was more for showing off than for connecting with the Lord. Jesus also warned his followers not to pray like the unbelievers who repeated the same words over and over and over again, thinking that the power of prayer is in those magical words. Instead, we should understand that our Father in heaven already knows what we need, and he simply just encourages us to ask him for what we need. Jesus then gave his followers an example of prayer to use. We know this as the Lord's Prayer. We've talked about this before, and we'll talk about it again next week. But this is how the first part goes. Jesus began by telling them by saying, Our Father in heaven, holy is your name. May your kingdom come and your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. So Jesus told us to ask God to make his will be carried out as perfectly as it is in heaven 
so that we can experience the wonders and the goodness of our Father in our day-to-day -day lives. And then Jesus continued teaching them how to pray, saying, Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we've forgiven those who sin against us. Our loving Father wants not only for us to experience his goodness, but he also wants to take care of our every single need, even down to the food we eat, all the things that we need for daily life, for the forgiveness of sins that our Father will provide for every time, every time he will forgive us and every time he will provide everything that we need. Jesus finished his amazing example, example of prayer saying, and don't let us give in to temptation, but rescue us from the evil one. Jesus reminded his followers that our enemy Satan means to do us harm and lead us away from following Christ. Our father only wants good for us and he'll protect us from our enemy, giving us victory in him when we pray. After Jesus shared this amazing prayer, he encouraged his followers to practice what they pray. If we pray for forgiveness, then we must be willing to forgive those who've done bad to us. Our Father God wants to grow and wants us to grow up in our faith, which will allow us to become more like our Savior Jesus, who gave us a perfect example to follow. Kids, I hope you know that our loving Father in heaven, our Father God, only wants good for us. His plan for us is way better than we could ever plan for ourselves. And he wants everyone in the world to be brought to him. That's why he tells us to tell other people about Jesus. God's given us the power of his Holy Spirit so that we can, we can be empowered and we can pray. He even helps us to pray. The Holy Spirit helps us to pray. So let's all try to make a habit of praying and just sitting in prayer with God, asking him for what we need, and just letting ourselves connect with the Lord.